guys. So today I figured we would do a for real cook with me. Um, since I've not done one of those in a while, like I've said. And then one of the last videos, I intended to make it that. I didn't, I didn't make it that. So what we're gonna do is we're walking all over the house so the light is, it can't fix itself. We're waiting on Wendy's cookies to get done. She made some cookie cups. Um, and when those come out of the oven, we're gonna make some lasagna ravioli. I figured we would share that because why not? So it has literally a minute left. We're gonna go ahead and get the hamburger ground browned up and then we will go for there from there. So I hope you enjoy cooking with us today. Something simple, but you know how we roll around here. If it ain't simple, we ain't doing it. Okay, okay, we, we do. Okay, we do some stuff that's not simple, but a lot of times it's not worth my time. So there's that. So we're just gonna jump in here and get started on dinner. we're gonna have one child that makes it difficult for me so Wendy asked me if I could just make normal spaghetti for hers so that's what we're gonna do and then she will have these meatballs in hers for ours however um, we're just going to do the ground beef so we gotta get this cooked up and then we'll do the rest now here's what I'm thinking okay I didn't want to boil it because I know that that often puts it makes it more watery than I want it to be. We like it to be saucy, but we don't like it to be watery. So, on the directions, it shows that you can cook it in the microwave. It says place one cup of ravioli and one third cup sauce in a microwave container. Cover it, because if you ever put spaghetti in the microwave, disaster. Um, but it says cover it, puncture a few holes, and microwave it on high for four minutes. And I think we're gonna start it in the microwave. So put it in the microwave and cook it that way and then put it in the, the oven and let it cook a little bit more so that instead of it having to cook in the oven for 50 minutes, um, maybe we can cut that time in half. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I just wanted to share that. I mean, what could it hurt? Right? Right. So that's what we're going to do. And then we also are going to go ahead and get this meat a cooking. The oven is already preheated because of Wendy's cookie cups that I got out for her and I pressed down and set to the side. Um, so let's get on with this ravioli lasagna, whatever. That's what we call it anyways. Okie dokie. So we're going to go in with just the whole pound of meat because my family, you know how they are, especially the, the men. Um, because the boys are just like John. They think they gotta have some meat. So, um, Jonathan's not home. He went out with his cousins. So I'm not sure if he will be home to eat dinner or if they will end up at McDonald's. That's usually where they end up at. But we'll have leftovers if not, most likely. Um, so he can either eat some of this when he gets home or this will be John's lunch tomorrow. So either way, I get out of cooking a meal. So I'm okay with that. And instead of putting a whole onion in it. I'm just going to add some of these diced onions. I like to season up my meat when I'm cooking it for, well, almost anything because I don't like plain. So, I should have said I don't like bland because I like plain stuff just fine. Okay, just to clear that up. All right, we're just going to chunk this up a little bit before it starts cooking. With it being for John, we're not gonna go too small on the pieces of meat because he likes to be able to bite into his meat, so. Okay, so it says one cup for four minutes and there's five cups in this. So, we're not gonna cook it the entire time in the microwave because like I said, we're going to add it um, to a a dish and meld it if I could figure out the words I'm trying to say so 
I'll probably put it in the microwave for maybe 15 minutes. And then by then the meat will be done and we can get it prepared and put it in the oven for maybe 15 more minutes. Still save me some time, so I'm okay with that. Ew. We're just guessing on the sauce. It said one third cup for five. I mean, you know what I mean. And this bowl is broke. If you can see that there. Because I'm always the one to point out stuff. It's broken, but I've had this thing so for so many years. I ain't throwing it away because of that. So. I got this cling wrap here from the Dollar General. I don't really like it. It's really thick, which works good for the saran wrap, sir. Um, which worked really good for the saran wrap ball game. But for cooking, I don't like it as much. But I'm not going to waste it either, so we'll make do with it for now. And then you're going to poke some holes in it. Good enough. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for 15 minutes. Okay, so I have to make Lily a little meatless one. So, how hot this bowl is. It's a little warm, it's a little warm. You get a towel, don't wanna have to drop it or anything. I need more workspace. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some and put into Lily's. I think I'm going to add some sauce to the meat really quick. This one right here that I added some sauce to, it's not our favorite. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a weird flavor to it. I only bought one sauce at the grocery store. I only bought one of these when I went grocery shopping because I, you know, I knew we had a sauce at home. I forgot it was the one we didn't really like or I would have bought another one, but it's whatever. I figured if we might use all of this and some of that, it'll kind of even itself out, hopefully. So. Alrighty, good enough. The kiddos are outside playing. It is 55 degrees. Yes, 55 degrees. So it's supposed to get to 48, 49 today and ends up it's it's 55. So they're outside enjoying the weather. We have been outside enjoying the weather a lot this week. It's only been in the 40s, but it's been so cold that we'll take the 40s. So they are out there, I think jumping on the trampoline or something. Um, They've been spending a lot of time out there. So then on top of this, I'm going to add just a little bit more sauce. And then we're going to go in with the meat mixture. It smells delicious. What? Is John home? 
Huh? Our neighbors drive a truck that is similar to ours, but one of them is bright red and then one of them's black. And for some reason, even when the dogs, I mean, when the dogs see our neighbors, that thing is John. I don't know if one of them came home or not. Or it could have been John. I don't know. Is he done? No. Hmm? No. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about the spaghetti. I wasn't. I mean, it is. Um, but anyways, I heard, I've heard that dogs are like partially colorblind though. So maybe, maybe that's why. I mean, it would make sense when they see the neighbor's truck why they think it's John. It's not the same color. Right, Wynn? Yeah. What was y'all doing out there? We were on the trampoline. Oh, I almost forgot you need sauce too. Almost ruined you, man. Oh, never mind. Wait, did you make meatballs? Yeah. Did you want meatballs? Wait, yeah. Then why are you, what? I thought you said yeah. I made meatballs. Oh, okay. Did you want meatballs? Yeah. Why are you confusing me, though? Oh, you said no at first, and I was like, yeah, and then I realized, you said no. Okay, We got it cleared up. That's all that matters. I reckon. Right. little bit of this fresh basil here and add it. You need to get more window grips. I plan on it. Yeah. I bet the fresh ones taste better, don't they? Probably. Because the other ones are like dried and ground to death. There's just something special about them though, right? Yeah. Knowing that they're fresh. And, you know, and you've got them yourself. yourself. Alrighty, and then now these will go into the oven for 15 minutes, maybe 20. We also got to make this garlic bread. It only takes three to four minutes. Well, six to eight, so we'll do that after this cooks a little bit. All right, so we have a few minutes until we have to stick in the garlic bread. I thought we'd walk out here and peek on these children of ours. The ones that's home anyways. Um, so I think we'll do that real quick and then it'll be time to get the garlic bread in and then dinner be ready. But like I said, John's still not home for work. And if you're wondering why Jonathan is out with friends instead of at work is he works until lunch and then um, done some stuff around the house. He got some stuff done. And then, what was I say? Oh, he worked until lunch. He got some stuff done around the house, some things that he needed to get done. And then he ended up going out with his cousins, which is his friends, but he went out with his cousins. And so now I don't know if he'll be home for dinner, which I don't know. And then John could be home anytime. So. It's just one of the, the downsides of working the type of work he does and owning his own business is you don't you don't have a set time like it's never he gets off at four so he's home at 4 30 kind of thing it's just it is what it is and it's not always fun so um yeah
always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.